This famous old trophy came into being in 1922 at St. James's Gate. The Shamrock Rovers after a replay to claim the first ever FAI Cup success. Since then, Rovers have gone on to win it 25 times. Today's finalist, Derby City, have five. Shelburne have seven wins. We also have the unenviable sum of 11 Cup finals of beats. That's a record. Today is Derry's first final since they lost to St. Pat's in the 2014 decider and won us to go back to 2012 for their last win. Shelburne have been bouncing up and down the divisions in the last couple of years, but they got a good cup pedigree. Losing in the last appearance in 2011 to Sligo, the last win came back in 2000 when they accounted for Bohemians after a replay. Can Shelburne today bridge that 22-year gap and give Damien Duff what he describes as the highlight of his career? Boyd certainly went in hard. This is like an action replay by Kaledi. Oh, and Clark. Well, just for one second there, I thought he was going to catch it, and he decided, uh oh, I'll push him around the post. Just get it out of the danger zone. I think that's not bad goalkeeping. Yeah, he got two hands on it. He was safe enough that he was saving it. But like you say, rather than knock it back down to take the risk of maybe catching that, he just backs it away and makes sure it goes away from the goal and out for a corner kick. There's McJanet again. 24 year old from Milton Keynes. He too has signed a long deal. Oh, that's a lovely take from Graydon. And a lovely finish too. And finally, they've been breached. What a ball this is from Patrick McElhenney, but unbelievable with the pass. He did a couple of nights giving away and was looking at him, he's a little bit disappointed with himself. But watch this for a pass. This is 60 yards across the pitch, onto Graydon's foot, and he does brilliant with it for McGonagall, just rolls it into that central area, and he tucks it away. But what a pass this from Patrick McElhenney. Patters into him, but the ref has given it. Shells have a chance to make my work. Well, there wasn't much in that. Gavin Malloy, left footed, it was curling all the time, and Mar was concerned. Yeah, it was a real well worked free kick, just a little set up, a give and take set up, and he just bends him. We've seen him score a wonderful goal in the semi final against Warford, and he's not too far away with that strike. Bends with his left foot, Mar is scrambling across, maybe would have got his hand in it had it been on target. Good response from Shelbourne. Shane McElhenney. There's McJanet. Nice one for McJanet. Duffy on the overlap. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. And what a finish by Cameron McJanet who kept his run going. And eventually he side puts it home and the Shell supporters go silent. But not at the Havelock Square end. It's Derry City 2, Shelburne 0. Yeah, this time it's down the left hand side. We said at the start, that's where Shells were a little bit vulnerable in the wing back positions. They play very narrow at times. And again, Mike Janet does really well down the left hand side. And he stays in that position. And the ball falls to him and he finishes it really well. But again, we've seen the build up play. Gap opens up and he just drives at it. It's a brilliant ball for Duffy. He does really well. Takes his foot, gets his heads up, trying to pull it back. Shells defend the first ball well with Griffin. But it falls into Macchana. He's the one who reacts quickest. Birdie's in the back of the net. It's a long way back for Shells at the moment. Really think it's Birdie and a nap. He's himself. He's only 38 years of age. Won the cup twice. Two very young managers here. Duffer is actually what, six years older than him. Here is Duff. That is a great ball in by Duffy. And is that Macchana with another one? I think it is. Come on, his knee. A wonderful, wonderful ball in underneath the goalkeeper. He couldn't deal with it, Brendan Clark. And I think that came off by Janice Knee. It's 3-0. The cup final's over. Yeah, you would think so. That should be it. It's poor defending from Shelbourne. It's come right across in that six-yard box. We'll see it again, but it really is poor defending. It's a poor goal to give away. It's a cheap goal to give away. You see, it just comes across, and he just waltzes in from nowhere. No one picks him up. He just runs off. It's a loop board. He runs off. McJanet, like you say, and gets his toy on the ball and just guides it in. But it's a poor goal to give away from Shells. Derry won't mind about that. Or a centre-half, whatever, gets his head on it and clears it. But it doesn't, and McJanet's all on his own and just pokes the ball home. Derry right again. Well, substitute there, McManus diving in. Guilty of it against Duffy. Oh! Brilliant from Michael Duffy. A to ride the challenge. 
coming in from McManus and B to do this. Oh, many times we've seen him do this before. Down his left hand side, he just gets on the ball and we've seen him. Don't let him inside, that's what he wants to do. And he gets inside and he whips a brilliant strike. Just waiting for the assistant Ben Connolly to show what's left. Three minutes of out of time, we're into that now. Oh, here's a chance. 31st touch, is that a penalty? Ooh, yes, it must be. It must be a penalty. First involvement really there for uh, Jordan McAdip. I think he gets the legs taken out from under him. Yellow card for Luke Byrne, and that's a penalty. And initially, he waved it away. Yeah, he did. He, on. he went for his two hands out. Didn't mean to say no penalty. I've just seen Patrick McElhenney run to Joe Thompson, take the ball off as well. We see here the ball just breaks clear, and he, he does really well. And he gets into the box, trying to get a shot away. And Luke Byrne just pokes his leg in there. And as it is, it's the substitute. It was a loan at Shells earlier on this year, the 21 year old. Strokes it in. 4 0. Icing on the cake. And if it stays this way, the biggest winning margin in FA Cup final history. It's one way traffic. Yeah, absolutely. He's had a few injuries. Uh, good player as well. Good young player for Dirty City. He's had a few injuries. You know, as a young player, and he's, he's come back in, and it, it was nice. Of McElhenney to get the ball and give it to him to make sure he got a chance to, to score the fourth goal, your hometown club to a cup, which they haven't won for a period of time. So I'm delighted for Rory and Alan Reynolds down there. Really two good coaches and getting a reward. And there goes the final whistle. And Derry City have won their sixth FAI Cup versus 2012. Jamie McGonagall up the scoring in the 18th minute. Cameron McJanet just before half time made it 2 0, and he got his second and the side's third on the hour mark. And then that late, late penalty from Jordan McIniff 4 0. Shells, shell shocked, but they got to the final. We mentioned it, they're a very young side. The future looks a lot brighter for Shelburne than we have seen in the last couple of decades, perhaps. No, absolutely, and they've been building. This will be hard one for take, there's no doubt about that. But when you look back at the season, it was making sure that you stay in the Premier Division. To build a club, you have to be in the Premier Division. They've done that. The fan base has grown. The, the crowd, or the, the, the club has grown as well. They've been disappointed today. They haven't. They've come up against a much better team, and there's no doubt about that. Dirty were very, very good today, and easy winners in the 